What's up, YouTube? This is Rose Go back again with another video, and I check it out. So, well, first, I want to start off saying rest in peace to Big Score. Um, so, I finally seen and paid attention to Big Score last live. Um, they saying he passed from a uh, a fake perk pill. You know, a fake perk pill. <clears throat> See, this the shit right here. That's just it's just it's heartbreaking. It's heartbreaking because when I seen him, uh, he looked so young, bro. He looked like a little baby in the face, man, like a young cat, and he and he was he was only twenty two. And it's a lot of weirdness with his death as far as symbolic wise. Like he was twenty two, he died. December 22nd, 2022, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people pick that up. Um, that's me as well. And that is the second day of the winter solstice. The winter solstice, the first day was the 21st, all right? All right. Sad times, man. Um, don't make no sense, right? And this is what's doing this to our our youth is these fake ass pills now, i made a video a long time about time ago about some damn pills and 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 our youngsters are so damn intoxicated like they be over intoxicated bro now i know every generation has their go-to thing it, it just that's just what it is um But in this day and age, it's it's ridiculous, you know. Uh, the drugs they have, the choice of drugs they have out here. Now I know it's easy for somebody to say, "Hey, just stop, man! Just stop popping them things." Cause I say it too. Just stop popping them shits. Damn, it's easier said than done when you don't do that shit. That's the thing. If you don't do that shit, you don't understand the mind frame of where this shit got they ass at. Of always wanting to continue to do this shit. So the point is, it's hard for them to stop this shit. And one thing, the most important thing you have to realize well, an individual in that predicament has to realize that you have a problem. You a drug addict. You know what I'm saying? And 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 <laughs> these days, you tell somebody that, they feel like they are not a drug addict. Why? Because everybody does this shit? They're drug addicts too. Look, people got to understand, you don't stay young forever. So, if you make it through your young years, guess what? And you still doing those popping this and popping that shit. You gonna end up a worse drug addict on some other type of shit. That's my point. As we all know, you know, um, he is not the first that we've heard about this type of shit. Uh, whether it was on the news of an overdose, whether it was in your personal life, somebody you know had an overdose. And um, he won't be the last that we hear about some shit like this. May he rest in peace, man. Um... You know, no matter how a person starts off taking this shit, whether it was prescribed to you or you just got hooked on it because people around you was doing it and they can, uh, you know, they have a way of getting it. That's crazy. So I don't know per se if he knew it was fake. 
and that's a problem within a problem if a person knows it was fake and still takes it. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. Like I said on that live, if that was his last live, like people are saying, he was like, you know, I don't want to say. I don't know, it seemed like he was in a park or something, I don't know. And he was uh, like, cuz, where you going? Um, he was stoned, man. That's what I be saying. I be saying they be so intoxicated. You gonna always be moving in slow motion, so something jumps off, guess what? Nobody's ever prepared. You know, hey, how is a person going to be prepared and they stuck in the zone with their head down slobbing and shit? I've seen that shit. You know what I'm saying? You just, you know, because once it takes your mind to another place, you stuck. It's like, literally, they're stuck in the zone. You got to be like, hey, man, pick your ass up. You see what I'm saying? Hey, you stuck in the zone. Who wants to be high like that? How high do you need to be? How high do you need to be, bruh? So Big Scar is no more. Whose fault is that? Who like who could we blame for this shit? Do we blame Big Scar? Do, do we blame the people around him? I'm not even going to play the blame game. It's the principle of... It's probably more... It's probably more fake pills out here than it is real. And then they, they start experimenting with the shit because they know the street loves this shit. So, they want to make it more potent. And they start putting shit in it, like that Fanny. You know, um, they can take you dead up out of here, man. And then you drinking. Then you smoking trees. I mean, that's too much, bruh. I never understood how they function. People like that. I never understood how they really function, bro. If you can train your body to function with all of this shit that's out here that people are doing, like, yeah, it's 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 damn show a problem. Cause I I couldn't imagine being that high. I would never get anything done. Like I would be, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> man, man. Sad times we live in, people. Um, he was only 22, and this is how he goes out. You feel me? Um, it's just sad. It's sad all the way across the board for Big Scar, for Big Scar family. Um, and being so close to the holidays, you know, like right around the corner is New Year's, you know, uh, and Christmas, some days away. So, people, we gotta, people gotta educate they they loved ones, the younger generation that's coming up because this ain't what it is, man. And uh, but once you get addicted, see what I'm saying? This ain't nothing like trees and stuff and alcohol. Once you get addicted to this shit, you can care less if it's faking shit, cause you gotta think. Uh, Kodak Black had a song, Gremlin, and he was like, I knew the perk was fake, but I still ate it, because I'm a Gremlin. Why would you take a fake perk, right? I, yeah, yeah, why, see, my mind can't comprehend that, because I don't do perks, you see what I'm saying? But it it's different for a person that does. They feel like shit. Fuck it. Fuck it. It 
And and this will be the conclusion of that shit if you do that shit. You know, everybody's body is different. But these days, if you get that thinny, it don't matter what your body is. It, it don't discriminate on nobody's different. You know what I'm saying? It take your ass straight up out of here because that's his job. People got to understand. Those ingredients are to kill you. Alright? The ingredients they put in, in that shit is to get rid of you, bruh. It's not to heal you. Not to save your damn life. It's to get rid of you. And man, I shit. So this is my thing. Will this stop? I always have to ask this shit. Will, but will this stop other people from taking this certain drug? Will this stop people? Nope. Huh? Nope. Damn. Now, I tell you this. Years ago, somebody told me that the elite, they only needed one generation of us. They only needed one generation. And the generation that they got by the balls is the big scar generation. Think about it. Big scar generation. Around those ages, younger than him, and just a tad bit older than him, he has, they had him by the balls, man. Huh. Can you imagine when New World Order hits, and they got all this technology, the metaverse, and things of this nature, the the, the pill popping zone, and all this shit. Um, and that goes for Molly's too. Put that out there. They them damn Molly's too, all right? Got a little bit of everything in them shits. Them damn Molly's too. People still popping up. But can you imagine still living? See, by that by that time when the world really gets to the needy greedy I'll probably be long gone thank God I'll probably be long gone um thank God like I said because I don't want to live in those times where this these are the children of the future and they are having children you see when you are all drugged up like that that shit spreads to your seed once you ejaculate into a woman. You see what I'm saying? All that negative shit, it transfers into that lady's womb. And if she's just as negative, guess what? You're going to have a negative-ass baby. You know, like I said, I'll be long gone, hopefully. You know, people that's already up in age, they got like 25, 30 years on people like Big Scar, right? Because we looking at them like, shit, I'm old enough to be your mama. Shit, I'm old enough to be your daddy. Mm -hmm. We up there. Huh? I can't imagine what they what their future going to look like. You feel me? That's my point. But they got them by the balls, ladies and gentlemen. That, that's my point as well. Uh, they got them by the balls. And they follow, man, they follow so much stuff. Because a lot of these people out here that's popping this, popping this and popping that, you know, they had no medical reason to even pop this shit. 
They had no medical reason to pop. What the hell they popping, man? Because, see, whatever you popping is supposed to go straight to the pain of whatever's hurting you. If nothing's hurting you, it can't eat that. Them ingredients can't even do its job. Because nothing's hurting your ass. Because see, when people do not only that shit, but then when you go when when you when you go popping something and then you go and drink some lean. See, a person that drink that lean, they get sick just like a junkie. When they can't get it. On time. Stomach get the hurting and shit. I'm like, man, I'm sick, man. I need that shit. You know what I'm saying? That's not what's up. But that lean go all the way back. You know what I'm saying? That, that lean go all the way back for a long time. But that's my thing, though. It's like, man... Wow, if you got to get that damn high, man, you damn sure need some help. So if anybody knows anybody that be getting high like that, they need help, man. But see, this is the crazy thing. This is the sad thing about that. People have to want to get help. Because I've learned that in my life. You have to want to get help. Um, And when you try to help people, it doesn't work because... They're not ready to give up that shit. That's how it has, you know, <clears throat> it has overran them. You feel me? So it's hard. You know, it's, it's very hard to save somebody that you love. They have to want that help. And these days, people think it's still cool, like, because he still got his jewelry on. He's still, you know, looking cool. The dopest Balenciagas, dope-ass clothes on. And people feel like, shit, he straight, he maintaining, because, you know, he got all this money and shit, da da this and that. But just think, when you don't have money, why you think we always hearing about chip, these youngsters out here stealing cars and shit? Stealing cars, committing crimes, committing robberies. They trying to get them drugs. That be the first thing to come to my mind when I hear all this shit. Because it's just, it's too often that you hear about shit like that. So it's like, damn, man. Some, they was probably trying to do that for some drugs. You know what it be sounding like? It be some crack, it be some, excuse my language, but crackhead ass shit. Crackhead activities. You know what I'm saying? And shit, we don't even hear about... People that's on crack just dying like that. We hearing about <laughs> other people popping pills, man. They getting out of here faster than, than you know what I'm saying? Than the average crackhead, man. Keep it a G. Mm -hmm. Keep it a G. So these are the blessings that people need to thank God for that you are in your right mind today. When people think like, I should have more, I should have this, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm where I'm supposed to be at this point in time. At my age, I said I was going to be this, I said I was going to be doing that. These are the times you have to thank God that you are in your right mind it's a lot of people not in their right mind today, man. Not in their right mind for whatever reason, man. And that shit is sad as hell, man. So rest in peace to Big Scar, man. Uh, and whoever sold him that shit, if it was a fake perk and shit, motherfuckers need to be dealt with. That's crazy. Um... Sad, man. It, it, let me tell you, it's so sad because these fake shits are floating around like juju bees, man. This shit's floating around, man. And it has gotten to the point where people don't care if they're fake. They're still popping.
that's a big ass problem, people. That's a big ass problem. Now, this year alone, the United States has seized so so many finny pills, they said, that it could have killed every American, every American. That's how much they had got off the streets this year. You feel me? So imagine how many they got last year. How many they going to seize next year when they catch them people. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, we have to check on our people. You know, we tr we have to try to prevent people from going down that road. Prevention. Because once they stop, because see this type of shit right here, it's like they used to say about the crack. It's a one hit a quitter. In my day, that's what they said. They said, oh, that's that one hitter, boy. That's that one hitter quitter, boy. You, you hit that. You're going to be back tomorrow. You see? To try to scare your ass. But it was the truth. They say you hit that shit one time, it's a wrap. Cause these pills and shit got shit in it to the point where it is, you know, it's just so addictive. Like you're like your lean is liquid heroin. These pills, the same thing, just in pill form. And people let that little pill ruin their life, man. Ruin their family life and shit. What y'all think about this shit, man? Leave your thoughts in the comments. I know how I feel about it. It's sad as hell. It makes you don't it makes you don't even want to talk about it at all. Cause I know everybody's fighting demons. Everybody, nobody's perfect. Everybody got something that hunts their ass. And it's all about how you go about it. You know? Um, first of all, you have to believe in God that God's going to change your situation around, you know. So, trying to mask it with all these drugs and stuff, um, it, 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 it's hard for God to talk to you in your conscience, in your psyche. It's hard for God to get to you because that part of interacting with the heavens so to speak is being blocked because of those drugs so but the devil can't communicate with you huh I don't let that go over your head but anyway rest in peace to big score shout out to his family man I know they you know, whoever loved them and stuff, I know they 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 probably going a little crazy about this shit, you know. Um, Cause I'm pretty sure many people have told him, man, you need to slow down. I'm pretty sure, you know, you need to slow down on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, but like I say, people have to want to, they have to want the change for themselves, and th that's the most, that's the hardest part of trying to help somebody because if you ask somebody do, do you think you have a problem they're going to say no I don't have a problem I ain't got no problem but everybody sees it but them rest in peace to Big Scar man um, hopefully this will be a lesson hopefully this will be a lesson to younger people his age that this shit is real look what happened to Lil Key allegedly they say you know what I'm saying he had got some bad whoop de whoop de whoop as well so we have to understand that people will give you bad ass shit on purpose you see to get rid of you so all these different drugs and shit look he ain't the only one it's, it's been high school students man found in the bathroom look when you have to have when you have to start having narcan 
vending machines, in high schools, in middle schools, in libraries, and shit like that. Just in case. Oh, it's a damn problem out here. It's a damn problem out here, people. Right? So, yeah, I just keep this though. But uh, anyway, man, shout, shout out to Big Squad, man. May he rest in peace, man. Um, what y'all think about this? Leave y'all thoughts in the comments. You know what I'm saying? I'm Rose Gold and I'm out. Message.